I was wondering, why Joe Lieberman came out against the public option. I mean, he has some insurance companies among his campaign donors, but not a whole lot of them. He isn't an obvious stooge for the insurance and healthcare industries, like Mitch McConnell or Chuck Grassley or John Boner or John McCain or Max Backus are. Then I found out that Joe's state, Connecticut, is pretty much the home of the insurance industry. The insurance industry employs more than 60,000 people in Connecticut. Now, it used to be that Chris Dodd got the lion's share of insurance donations in Connecticut, but Dodd seems to have some kind of integrity, or perversity, and he is a strong supporter of a public option, and one suspects that he won't be getting the same kind of money from insurance companies that he has in the past. Maybe Lieberman wants to take Dodd's place at the trough. Now, what do we call someone who makes moral or ethical decisions based on profit? What do we call someone who sells out for cash? Now, you could argue that everybody sells out for cash, that we are forced by circumstance, to make decisions, based on financial concerns, and that all wage earners are indentured servants, but that is a bit too extreme and cynical for me. We all make compromises, and if we have to cut some corners or make mistakes, we have to deal with it. But Lieberman and his ilk are making decisions for all of us. They are elected to represent us, and act in our behalf. When they make unethical decisions, out of greed or ambition, it affects all of us. Speaking of whores, Representative Alan Grayson has apologized for calling a top advisor to Ben Bernanke a K Street whore. In that this advisor used to lobby on K Street for Enron, among other corporations, one wonders if Representative Grayson's remark was not, in fact, rather accurate. So far as I can tell from this distance, K Street in DC is populated entirely by high-priced prostitutes and their servants. In a decent world, K Street would be raided by vice cops and its entire population shipped off to a work farm somewhere. But maybe I just don't understand decency.